No, no, we. I want it right. I want it right out the mouth. Cause this is how it's going. Like Lennon was quick, an artist. quick. Lennon was an artist. If you listen to Uma Thurman, Pulp Fiction, you're a Beatles man or an Elvis man. And that's how she breaks down the world. And I agree, and I like it. Beatles, artist, Lennon, artist. Give me Lennon said. Give me anything. I'll make music out of it. I'm a fucking artist. Said it. So what he means. Elvis was a persona. Elvis was a creative person. You can tell me Elvis was an artist. You know how many songs Elvis did that were written for him? If you handed me a page of lyrics and said, you're an amazing singer, sing this. Am I an artist? Did I create it? Okay, you got a point there. You got a point there. Did I create it? No. You handed it to me, gave it to me, and said, you sing beautifully. Do this. And I did it. I'm a creative person. I gave it to you, and it was great. Artistically, four men sat down. One played piano. One played bass. Another played guitar. And another played drums. And they brought it together, and they made artwork. There's a big difference. It's a big difference, people. Okay, okay. We need to wake up. We need to make up and determine the difference between Beethoven and Lil John. Oh, you can't even go on my boy Lil John. You can't even go on my boy Lil John. Lil John. John, marketing, make, making you, making me, taking what I do, making it hot, making it great. Hotness doesn't make art. Hotness makes money. Make all your money. I, w I won't dog you for making your money because I'm not making the money. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm living like every old American. I'm not making the money. If John came to me and said, I need you to do this right here. Here, take a sip and do this right there, and we're going to be hotness. I'm going to do it, because you know what? Next year, I'm going to be a millionaire. Cool. But, but, same time, I'm talking about artwork. So you, but wait, wait, wait. Yeah! That's art? That's no, art? but, but, take it if music, he That's just, art. but the way he took music to a different level. The way he took commercialized music no 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 because no he was not no 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 because remember he he was not commercial his music became commercial right, his right, music right. became pop he okay. was doing unorthodox music okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a he was doing unorthodox music and changed the the whole vision so yes the beatles All might right. do quote unquote what they call music but it takes a ballsy person to take something and say, this is what I call music. And everyone's like, no, that's not classical. Because what? Rock and roll is not classical, therefore it's not music. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 the oh. There would be no rock and roll badass guitar solos if there was not for people like, like uh, Rachmaninoff and Beethoven and Mozart. It just wouldn't exist. If you didn't have the violinist... The early metal players yeah. put this out. There would be no Metallica. But there would be no Led Zeppelin. None of this. So it all fuses off. And if you listen to the greats, they all give their props over to the classical. Music. But was it? The, but but wasn't that? Work. Wasn't that an argument first? That it was not music. Oh yeah. Was oh, yeah. okay. But they had to display their skills to show it, and they fought long and long and long and long hard to show it. And there are rappers who have fought long and hard to show it, and they've showed it, and they've proven it. And there are plenty of them. I'm talking about commercial radio in America. Radio in America. If you blow up with a hit that is truly artistic, and you come up with that real hit that is an artistic, good piece of music that I like and I give you all the props and respect for, and then your next three songs are bullshit but they've got a hot beat that you can dance to. The fact that you got notoriety, America is so stupid <laughs> that you hit the top charts. So you come out with three bullshit songs and they're all dancing and shaking their asses to it in the club. And that's how it goes. And you make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Thank you, America, for all of your dollars. I no, well, it but, what, but what you're saying is, Okay. I'm not saying I would but you're saying, but you're I'm saying, talking about American mentality. But you're, mentality. but you're accusing dance music as not being art. That's the same thing as going from 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 rock to classical. I won't. I won't I'm, I'm, I'm See, that's what I'm saying. I'm teetering on the borderline. I am. I, I think because I, just because I'm not a techno guy so, doesn't mean that in their techno world that a lot of stuff isn't art. All right. All right. Fine. Okay, so you meant that I can't do, you know, a hundred of these, and that's my genre, and I make it hot. How could you, in your eyes, how could I fight 
and do dance music and and prove that I am an artiste. In my eyes, your lyrical content, the words behind what you're saying, about not just what you're spitting out, the actual words that you use to describe. If does 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 your message? Do, do you have a message? And if you do, does it have a direction? Is there a purpose? Do you speak to anyone, or are you just saying, "I got money, I got clothes, I wear a different hat every day of the week. These shoes that once I take them off, I won't ever wear them again. I got this." But what I, if that's truly what I want to say? Right here, I got a million dollars right here. Instead of doing something with it, I mean, is that all you're saying? Is that the message? Is it really? That's what, what, I mean. what if I really feel that? I mean, how if could you? you I mean, how that? could how could you sit here and say if I feel like I want to talk about my hat and my shoes? How could you? How who? How could you say that that's not art because I'm I'm talking about my shoes? I'm not I'm not a professional. I'm a musician to play several instruments that speaks how I feel as a musician, yeah. as someone that creates their own. I cannot tell you that that is not art because really, really. The most beautiful pieces of poetry that would be art can be written about a leaf falling from a tree. So if you transcend that, it could be about a hat on your head. It's not about what what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. It's how you're saying it. It's how you're saying it. Are you saying, yes, my hat is fly. Yes, the hat I wear on my head. Or are you breaking it down and making it poetic? Are you making it real artwork? You know, I mean, come on. A 35-year-old artist versus an 8-year-old. An 8-year-old can sit there and throw finger paint all over a piece of canvas. A 35-year-old abstract artist can do the exact same thing, except their painting is going to sell for hundreds of thousand dollars in a museum. That's the difference. It's not what you're doing. It's not what you're saying. It's how. Do you, do you have a real meaning? Do you have a real message? Do you impact someone? Do you change somebody? Do you open someone's eyes? Or do you just say the obvious? You just say the obvious. I mean, come on. Come on. If, if, if N.W.A. or Dre would have came out talking about the times and they would have been talking about them plain as can be, it would have been like, no shit. Yeah, that's the way it is. But it's the way they described it.